Brienne with Apple Hill Farm in Banner Elk, North Carolina, and we are excited to welcome you to our little virtual tour of our farm store. Uh, we've been vendors at Carolina Fiber Fest for several years. Um, we actually joined the show the very first year that it was at Sanford, if you guys remember, that was uh, quite a journey being there for a few years and we have really enjoyed the move to the state fair. So we are really excited uh, to be coming to you virtually. We're so thankful that the fair put our safety first this spring and that they have taken their time to make sure that they knew how to put on a virtual fair and really do it well. Uh, Cause we love meeting all of our fiber friends and we're really excited just to do so in the way that we're doing everything in 2020 and we're excited to be meeting you virtually. So Apple Hill Farm is in Banner Elk, North Carolina and we are a working alpaca and angora goat farm. We're home to about nine different species of animals including the alpacas and angora goats. We have donkeys and livestock guardian dogs and miniature pigs, miniature cows, chickens, horses, and a whole slew of other creatures here on the farm. Everyone on the farm has a job, a purpose, and many of them have a story as well. We have quite a few rescues here on the farm and quite a few animals that just want to talk with you. So we are open to the public for people to come visit the farm and we do guided educational tours of the farm all year round. So we invite you if you feel safe to come make a little weekend trip up to the mountains and join us. Uh, as you can see behind me, we don't just do the tours and the outdoor experience, but we have a lot of products here on the farm. Almost everything in our store is alpaca fiber. It's really important to us that all of our products here are either fair trade from Peru or made in the United States. We want to make sure that everybody involved in the process is getting paid a fair living wage for the work that they're doing because uh, it is really important work to continue to produce textiles and give people a chance to reconnect to something like that. Um, that's one of our big mantras here on the farm is to help people get back in touch with what's real, whether that is getting back in touch with themselves, with a real farm experience, with their family, or with crafting and things like that that can help them just unwind at the end of a long day. So we do raise our alpacas and our angora goats for their fiber. And while we don't have that on our website for you guys to buy, I still wanted to point it out to you because it's the way we do it is pretty special. Over here we have the yarn from our alpacas and our angora goats. The alpacas are shorn just once a year. We usually only get about four inches of fiber from them each year, which means each alpaca produces about eight to 10 skeins of yarn in a year. The angora goats grow more hair than any other fiber animal, and their mohair grows about one inch a month. So that means we actually get about 12 inches of fiber from them each year, and we shear them twice a year. So when we shear our animals, we send the fiber off to be spun into yarn by individual animal, and we put their name on the bag so we know who it is. And then when it comes back, we don't have it dyed, we leave it all natural. So if you come and take a tour of the farm, you'll be able to meet Sunny, Bambi, Frosty, Sunig, or Chili. They're actually right out front of the alpaca barn so you can meet them when you come on the tour. Um, and it's a lot of fun to be able to see the animals, see their natural colors, and then see the products that come straight from the animals. And we put their names right there on the tag. So if you really make a connection with someone here on the farm, you might be able to come find their yarn in the store. We also have yarn from four of our Angora goats in the store right now. Behind me, you'll also see that we have lots of dyed yarns. So this is all either fair trade from Peru or made in the United States. And we have quite a selection. We have over 15 types of yarns in the store right now, and almost all of them are up on our website. So we have everything from lace weight, fingering weight, all the way up to bulky yarn here in a whole variety of colors. We also have a really fun self-striping yarn if you're really into that as well as our um, super fun sock yarn. Our pack of heads is one of our most popular yarns here. This one is actually called Tahitian Treat, but we call it the unicorn yarn because it just seems so unicorn-like. So the pack of heads yarn is an alpaca and wool blend, and it's great for making socks, obviously, because it's gonna really hold its shape, but it's also wonderful for making shawls or things that might need to be a little bit more wearable and a little bit more washable. But we do also have lots of 100% alpaca yarn in our store. 
So we do have several kits on our website and we're happy to help you find a pattern for any yarn you might be interested in. This is one of our newest ones. This is the Night Shift Cal that we just finished. This is a knit kit and it is made with our Umina yarn. So it's made with the seaweed and royalty colors, which are just two of my favorite color combinations. Um, it's a really soft, squishy, and luscious yarn. We've got several colors up on the website for you guys to check out. And uh, just send us a message if you would like us to also help you get the pattern for that. Our other newest addition that we're really excited about is the Lost in Time shawl. So I'm sure you guys have seen this one floating around. This is a really popular shawl pattern right now. But if you're like me, uh, you find it a little intimidating because each row is different and there's lots of colors involved. And while it can be a really good stash buster, not all of us have enough stash to that's the same weight and the same type and colors that we like enough together to make a whole shawl. So we're really excited that our friend Beth up in Pennsylvania at the Alpaca Yarn Company has taken all the hard work out of it and has put some kits together. So we did ours in the Modern Times Mini Madness Kit. We also have the Victorian Times Mini Madness Kit. And these guys were dyed just for this Lost in Time shawl. Um, we also have two other colors in the Madness Kits. Um, one is turquoise with grays and a really pretty gradient. And the other one is red and grays in a pretty gradient. And these kits are 1,100 yards, so you can do just about anything under the sun with them. Um, and they are $50 each. And if that's a little bit of a commitment for you, we also have the Mini Madness kits um, and Half Mad kits. And so these are 550 yards. This is the Victoria kit. Um, this is our Candy Dots, which makes me think of Easter eggs. And then this one is Tail Feathers, which is my favorite color. She's turquoises and purples. Um, and this comes with a free cow pattern that you can make as well. It's a really pretty kind of fair aisle kit. Um, and when you get this yarn, the code for the cowl is located inside the label here. In addition to all these lovely yarns, we also have a lot of socks in our web store and in our farm store here at Apple Hill Farm. These socks right here come from the New England Alpaca Fiber Pool, which is a cooperative where we and other farms just like us all across the United States pool all of our alpaca fiber together to have it made into socks, hats, and gloves, and all kinds of other products. These guys are honestly some of our best sellers here on the farm, and they are our farm team members' favorite socks. The survival socks and the low pro socks, the inside is mostly alpaca terry loops, which makes them really soft. It's like stepping into an alpaca cloud. And then the outside is nylon and elastic, which makes these socks super durable. And these guys are actually about 78% alpaca, so very high alpaca content for that extra softness that you need. We also have the same structure in our backpacka and backpacka ankle socks. However, these are much thinner. So for our fans in warmer climates or who feel like these thick hiking socks might be too much for you, the backpacka is a really thin sock designed just for our warm climate friends. It does still have the alpaca terry loops. However, they're mostly isolated to the footbed of the sock to give you that extra cushion and moisture wicking ability. One of the fabulous things about alpaca is that the hairs actually have little air bubbles in each hair, which makes it insulating. So it'll insulate you against hot and cold, and alpaca also wicks away moisture. So these socks are going to keep you warm and dry in the winter and cool and dry in the summer. And if that's not enough, we also sell alpaca shoe inserts. So these guys are great for a little extra cushion in your shoe, an extra layer of protection against the cold, and again, they wick away moisture. So they're great for throwing into your clogs or sandals and other shoes that maybe you don't want to wear socks with, but you don't want them to get funky. So we are really happy to say that we recently were able to restock our collage square needles. So you may have heard that Louette decided to discontinue the collage needles last fall and 
many of us knitters and crocheters were just heartbroken. These guys have quickly become um, almost a cult favorite in the knitting world um, because of their unique square shape. So we were really excited when the needles were picked back up again by another company in Canada. So the collage square needles are actually now produced by a group called Career Services, um, and they are passionate about helping people with disabilities become trained to join the job market and have valuable life skills. Um, for over 40 years, Career Services has helped thousands of people with disabilities find employment. Um, every needle purchase helps uh, enable them to continue to provide inclusive training, real work experiences, and employment for people they serve. And they have a really great um, story of how they've done that. Um, and they really are knitting people together, um, both just in the fiber world, as well as people who may be differently able. So we are um, extra passionate about these square needles now. So we do carry um, a full lineup of the collage circular firm needles, square crochet hooks, as well as the DPN needles. And we just did a store restock, so we've got quite a few of these in stock. Um, if you don't know these guys well, um, the needle itself is actually square in shape. Um, so that is why people are such big fans of these they actually just kind of rest on your hands as you're knitting. So they're really ergonomic if you have arthritis or trouble gripping or you're just knitting for long hours. Um, these guys are much easier on your hands because you don't really have to grip the needles. Um, they just kind of rest on your fingers. And because of this unique square shape, um, they actually hold the yarn on the needles as well, which is ideal if you're working with alpaca, bamboo, silk, and other slippery yarns. That shape is actually going to hold the yarn for you. For our crocheters, we have these beautiful wooden handled crochet hooks. And these have quickly become my favorite crochet hooks because they're so easy on the hand. And um, this unique it's got the pointed tip, which can be found in a lot of crochet hooks, but this square dip in here on the hook really holds your yarn for you. So it really makes it a lot easier to work with those finer yarns, um, and you're a lot less likely to drop the yarn as you're working with it. Um, and like I said, it just handles really well. I find that as I use them, where my thumb sits actually becomes really soft and really smooth and they almost become personalized. Uh, we do also have a selection of the DPNs as well. These all come in the full five needle sets um, in lots of different sizes. These, The needles are all available from a size zero up to a size 11. We do also have 1.5s as well as 10.5s. And the crochet hooks, um, we weren't able to quite get fully restocked on those yet because they just started the production, but the crochet hooks come in sizes E through K, including the Elusive 7, which we were able to get in stock. So definitely check those out on the website. We just restocked them there. Thank you for joining us for this little virtual tour of our farm store. We hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe got some new project ideas. We've got a lot of yarns and quite a few socks up on the website and some other things that we didn't even show you today. We also hope that you'll give us a little follow on Facebook and Instagram and check out our website. So in addition to having our web store, we do also offer guided tours of the farm all year round. And for those of you who are still doing Zoom calls and Zoom classes, we are still offering alpaca Zoom calls and llama bombs where we can join you live from the alpaca field and you can get up close and personal and actually get a little bit of a behind the scenes look at Apple Hill Farm. So we've been doing those all throughout the pandemic and if your yarn budget is full, you can't add to your stash anymore, we would love to have you book us to come join one of your next Zoom meetings with your friends. Uh, it's a great way to support the farm and we love making new friends 
all around the world. And we look forward to hopefully seeing you guys at Carolina Fiberfest 2021.